Hello, my lovely friends. Welcome. G'day from Australia. My name's Belinda, if you don't know me. <laughs> Hiya, guys. Early birds today. We had um, Pamela and Janine, Abby. Welcome. Marilyn, Mona, Tara Lynn. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Joe. Welcome, Marie. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Is it Tanya? Have I said that right? Oh, Tanya? Tanya? <laughs> Tell me if it's wrong. Welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hi. Is it Josie? Josie? Jos I don't know how to say it. Just, just Lee? Please excuse me and my pronunciations. Hi, Claudia. Welcome. Welcome. So, um... Oh my goodness, what have I done? I've moved away from the colour along this month. Um, to tell you the truth, there's been a lot going along, a, a, a lot of that going on around here. And um, I just have not had the time to sit down and work out colours and do colour lists and, and all that sort of thing. So Jennifer's allowing me to do a giveaway today though. Um, even though there's no discount or anything on the page, uh, she has given me permission to do a giveaway today. So uh, we are getting something out of out of out of today, which is awesome. So um, yeah, I'm coloring, asking, but to color along, you did get Grazia Selvo in June. What? Oh, you're doing a coloring along to the one I did in June. Is that right, Marilyn? <laughs> Have I got it right? Hi, Diane. Welcome. Pam, welcome. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Do, 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 do. I'm here too. I was across the room printing a page to colour. Ah, awesome. TV. I'm a TV star. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Gail. Welcome. Don't eat and chat. No. Okay. Well, fair enough. You spit all over your page, you know. Hi, Sahara. Welcome. How is everybody? I hope you're all well this Friday morning here. Friday. And it's so hot. It's 23 degrees already. Um, this is really quite odd for us here in Australia because it's actually just gone to spring and it already feels like it's summer. It's so weird. It is the weirdest feeling ever. But here we are. Hot and bothered. <laughs> no worries, Tammy. Hey, be before you go, Tammy, I think I might do a, a colour with some of these today. Maybe. Uh... Tammy sent me these to have a try of and I still haven't had a chance. So I thought I'd use the next few Fridays to, to do a few things differently. <gasps> I'm going to do stuff differently. I'm going to wing it. Um, but I thought I've had these. These were my very first set of pencils. I mean, they're pretty old looking and writing looking. Um, I brought these <laughs> off eBay probably about six years ago. Maybe even further than six years ago. It's been a long time. I've used a bit of them too because they were my first set. Um, my first professional set after this were the Polychromos, which uh, wasn't very long after these. So I didn't have these for very long before I went and ordered the Polychromos. So um, I've had them both, well, these a little bit longer, but I didn't use them very much once I got my polys because I love my polys. <laughs> So um, I thought everybody's been trying different uh, brands on their channels and um, I know that the Bruntfuna, Brunt, Bruntferna, is that how you say it? Um, they actually still cost quite a bit for me to get. So I thought, I don't need to get anything new. Look, look what I have. I have these Marco Raffine or Raff, Raffine, I don't know. <laughs> Hi Loretta. Um, and they're actually pretty good pencils like this is my very first color chart from them look, look at my lovely coloring um <laughs> i'm gonna use it as a reference today but um they're actually not too bad oh, like in all honesty they're pretty good why not why not let's give it a go hey <laughs> loretta's like i love them okay good good loretta good Hi Sherry, welcome. Lurking and driving, says Tammy. Oh no, don't look while you're driving. It's pouring down. Okay, where did you move to, Sahara? Because it's not raining here. It's 
hot and windy and overcast. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, I thought, and I thought, well, while we're at it, um, I may just have a try of a couple of uh, the lovely. Uh, Tammy sent me these to try a little while ago and I haven't really had a go of them yet um, So I thought well, we might use these as well We'll just kind of you know mix them in a little bit. We'll see how we go um, Yeah, so here we go. What does this say on here colored pencils 72 pieces and they don't have numbers Unfortunately, they, they don't have names, but they got numbers. So I don't know. do you want me to read out the numbers as I go? Please tell me if you would like that. My sister has a set of these as well. We both brought a pack each when we first started colouring. Not that she doesn't colour anymore, but I wonder if she's got her set somewhere though. Wow. Wow. I'm so... OCD and just want them all to be facing up but we're going to be using them so I can't do that can I <laughs> need Geelong yes oh okay awesome that's where Linda is what a kind of what a brush in the mail today oh cool <laughs> Oh, you had remnants of what? I don't know what those words and letters mean, but that's where she is. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Ah, oh dear. So the lovely Jennifer from Modern Colouring. Um, Jennifer has an Etsy, sh uh, Etsy shop, she Modern Colouring. She has a... Uh, Patreon page where she's been doing a Patreon exclusive page. Uh, we have, I don't know, what else do you want to know about her? <laughs> Here's her Patreon. I'll pop it up there so you can uh, go check it out. She has some awesome uh, Patreon exclusive images. So, hi, Selena, welcome. Mm, the hot mess. Hurricane. Oh, okay. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. It was gorgeous in Melbourne yesterday. It was beautiful yesterday. It was like 27 degrees or something like that. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, so that's Jennifer's Patreon. Also, if you want to get this image, uh, it's available on Etsy here. And check out her other images while you're there as well. Uh, she's got some really pretty ones. I've done quite a few of Jennifer's. Uh, I was on her colouring team team <laughs> uh, quite a while ago and uh, I did quite a few of her images early on um, and I have to say I really love the grayscale images they're beautiful images so we're going to do that and hopefully she drops in today maybe me I actually I didn't let her know I probably should let her know should I I should uh, email her and let her know that I'm live and the, the live link and stuff like that and you know see what she does she might drop in maybe Maybe. Oh dear. All right. Shall we do it? I am going to be using. Uh, oh, I haven't. As I said, I haven't used these on any of my new newer papers or anything. It's been a long time. So uh, I'm going to try using them on this one, mixed media paper from Strathmore. I've ordered four books of this uh, from New York, from Amazon US. So I'm praying. It gets here this time. Last time I ordered some books, I didn't get any. So, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. No worries, Pam. <laughs> oh, no. Loretta, hopefully you did. Yeah, it does a little bit. It does a little bit, but I don't mind it. I like the way that it you can layer on it. and We'll just see. As I said, I haven't used these, so we're kind of just winging it a little bit today. So let's have some fun and, and just have a play. 
Do, do, do. I'm just going to turn these so I can see them. Oh, no, I'm making a mess now. No, I need to take my jump prop. It's really warm. <laughs> Let's just do that first. Oh, better. That's better. All right. Woohoo, I don't know where to start. I don't know what colors to use. I, I'm thinking I'll use something brown for her hair because we're going to be using black and blue through here. Um... If I use like metal, like dark, like what do you call it? Um, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Rod iron? Is that what it's called? Uh, no, Sahara, not to, not now. I'm not doing one this month. <laughs> I did, I Selena. I got the patriarch, patriotic coloring book activity book for some reason uh, I Selena sent me something from uh, <laughs> from my from my wish list it didn't end up being that though did it no <laughs> it ended up being some random thing and actually um Emily drew a picture of me holding it, it was so funny it was very cool Emily's very clever um all right I'm just looking at colors what 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 to do here Ah, oh, okay. Let's have a look. This, uh, I haven't, sh I don't know what these are like sharpening either, so please uh, it, it, bear with me. <laughs> bear with me, she says. Just, just, uh, uh, I don't even know what it's going to be like to blend. So we may end up uh, using, oh, uh, <laughs> if you only have these pencils, I would suggest investing in some Prismacolor white um, pencils. Uh, for blending and uh, other bits and pieces. Also, the Caran uh, Full Blender, uh, which is in a ex uh, pencil extender to protect it there. Uh, and um, if you're having trouble with skin, then I reckon the next bet for skin colours would be probably Prisma colours. So, um, but you don't need to get the whole set, maybe just a few colours. Hi, Sarah, welcome. Be careful when sharpening their soft iron. Well, they're about uh, five to six years old too, so <laughs> they've probably been bashed around. They'll be broken inside and things like that. Hi, Melissa. Welcome. So, um, yeah, it could be fun. It could be fun. They don't bring... <laughs> no, no. Uh, um, we're going to have a play. We'll have a play. Uh, I won't start in the skin, though. I think I'll start in the hair so I can get a bit of an idea of what they're like. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> a bit of fun. And we'll, we'll figure out how to fix it if it doesn't work out well. Okay, so this is number 558. I think they all start with a 5. They do. So this is 58. <laughs> um, and I'm just... Oh, okay... I'm going to have a play. I probably should have had a scribble with them on 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 some paper before starting, but you know. So who is that? What just happened? Something just came up there. Someone subscribed. So thank you. <laughs> I can't hear it or see it. It's really annoying. Unless I look up, I don't can't tell. I've, I've definitely, I've used them before, Loretta. This is not the first time. Uh, but years and years ago. So, um, they were my very first set of pencils that I ever had. Um, so yeah, they've been used. See, did you see them? Like, they've been used a little bit. You know, some of them are shorter than others. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. Oh, dear. Love the crows. Once you figure out how to work them, they're not bad. 
You got a few off over. What off over? Cheap. What? The, these pencils? You can still get these pencils. I saw them on... Um, I saw them on AliExpress, I think. eBay. Lots of places have them. Oh, pretty brown hair. I printed the medium uh, page off. Two. It's not the light, it's the medium. Yeah, when I purchased it, there was three different uh, coloured versions of it. And uh, my computer doesn't like PDF images. I struggle with PDF sometimes. So uh, I have to convert them to image files before printing them. Otherwise they come out kind of strange. It's, it's really weird. I think it's just my printer. I don't know, settings or something. Could be my computer. Who knows? Just flicking. Just keep flicking. <laughs> Uh, speaking of sore feet, poor Ev had broke her toe. Yochi yochies. Yochi yochies. <laughs> That's all I can say. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, it does. Very much so. I only just saw it this morning. Alright, these are actually not too bad. Uh, um, I'm not going to try to get them smooth. I think I'll just leave it rough. But that's really hard for me. I have this thing with smooth <laughs> gotta be smooth I think because when I first started coloring I was using paper that was really quite rough and uh, I felt like it needed to be smooth like you could see the rough texture so I always felt like I had to flatten the tooth and uh, you know I think it just becomes one of those things that you <laughs> you just do out of habit now, I don't know whether to use my froggy to sharpen this with or, or I'll, I'll try both we'll see how it goes eh? Yes, Janine, I can. I'm using 558. <laughs> That's the colour I'm using. Mm. Okay, let me try that again. I think the frog is working. Um, I don't know how these will go sharp, sharp. So we'll try both sharpeners, I think. I'll try sharp, sharp and not so sharp. <laughs> there she is. Hi, Jennifer. Um, I was just saying I'm using some, uh, some, uh, cheaper, cheap, cheaper, uh, pencils today that I got years and years and years ago. Um, <laughs> they were my very first actual set of pencils. You know what? Then at the same time, I got the, um, Faber-Castell classic pencils just the classic and uh, they were quite
quite nice too. I didn't mind them either. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I can't get past that. Oh, it's um, it's a red brown. I don't know if you can see that there. It's like a it it reminds me of a uh, kaput mortem. And that one reminds me of kaput mortem violet. Um. Uh, what I can try to do uh, for Janine for patrons, um, I'll try and do a bit of a conversion. Uh, I'll see if I get time. <laughs> I'll see if I get time. <laughs> um, it looks kind of orange here though, doesn't it, under the camera? But you know what? It's not. It's like a, a red brown. Like a purpley red brown I don't know it's a color you know I wanted to do brown though so that uh, the the ravens didn't sort of blend in because I, I looked at it and thought oh I could do black hair and then I went oh no that won't work because the ravens are going to be black so it won't stand out as much will it oh no Pamela Centrelink ugh I actually, uh, I got on to update my Medicare details yesterday on the MyGov account. And uh, it says, uh, you can't update on the on, on online, you have to ring us. I'm like, really? Come on. I freaking ring and sit on the phone for two hours? Ugh. It's crazy. I wasn't sure what the, how these were going to be vibrancy-wise. You know what? I, I actually told a fib then. This wasn't my first set of pencils. It was the first set of pencils I actually used. <laughs> but wasn't my actual first set. I went out, when I decided to start colouring, I brought a Joanna, has, Joanna Basford book. I think it was Secret Garden might have been my first one. One of them. And, uh... I brought a set of Derwent Studio pencils and uh, came home and swatched them and went, I don't like these pencils, they have hardly any colour in them. They were horrible. <laughs> so I brought a brand new set of Derwent's and uh, Derwent Studio pencils. Artist Derwent, Artist Studio or something they are. And I hate them. But I was expecting them to be like they used to be. Because my hubby has a set of the vintage ones. And they're fabulous. Like they're unbelievable compared to what they are nowadays. It's horrible. <laughs> you can't get the past images. Oh no, Janine, really? That sucks. Uh oh, I got some on my on my face. My poor little face got some on it. I don't wanna Oh, well, that's interesting. I don't know how I did that. Not really coming off either. <laughs> Centrelink is where we get our money from. <laughs> it's where we get any like payments, government payments. And uh, we don't um, have like the same Medicare kind of system that you guys have in America. We have an actual Medicare and everything goes through there um, unless you're but you have to wait. The problem is with that you have to wait for things. The public system's very slow but they take care of you when you really need it. It's just slow. I think 
I might do this as a bit of hair here too. I'm squeaking on my desk here because it's hot. I'm sweating. I think that's part of the birdie's tail there. So just run up the side of it. And we'll do tail. All right, coming to this side now. Oh, look, she's got hair up here too. This is a cool picture. <laughs> it's got cool hair, Jen. I love hair. I think I think Cam's in there drawing maybe today. Maybe. Flick, flick, flick. Oh, someone get Lindy in here. She's she's a, a Jennifer fan too, isn't she? <laughs> oh no, Janine. Hi Angie, welcome. <laughs> I didn't think they were reporting at the moment because of um, the lockdown, though. Uh, uh, is that not the case with you guys? Oh, you guys aren't in lockdown, are you? You're in Tassie, yeah? Bit different. Yeah, so we just got told we're in lockdown again for, or still, I should say, now until the 23rd of September. I don't understand if we're all in lockdown how we're getting all these cases. Obviously, people aren't in lockdown. <laughs> As I said, we were driving back from a, an appointment on Wednesday morning. And uh, I said to Cam... You know what's interesting? Are all these people out, are they essential workers? And then I went, well, technically, I guess everybody who's out working could say that they're an essential worker because it's essential to live and have money. There she is. Hi, Linda. <laughs> we were just talking about you. Don't worry, I don't need to take a breath. I'll just... Bleh. So, yeah, are people just, you know, I'm an essential worker. I'm, it's essential for me to work. Otherwise, I can't live. <laughs> Oh dear me. I was just saying that you love Jennifer's images too. You're a fan of Jennifer as well. And that, that where were you? That was all. Because, you know, we missed you. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going crazy too. Don't worry about it. My kid's going crazy. It's just sad. Pam. We got told that the schools aren't opening back up again until uh, till October. So they got the rest of the term will be via remote learning. Ugh.
Things just aren't normal. <laughs> Hi Vicky. Hi Hedwig. Hedwig. I never say it right. Hedwig. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> Oh, Marie, I had mine on Thursday last week, my last one. I got my certificate yesterday. Woohoo! <laughs> Just what I wanted. Filling in behind the little tiara. It's a tiara. Put it on me. Put it on me. Sorry, I was being a bit of an Amy there. Sheldon gives Amy a tiara. It's just hilarious. I love it. It's probably like one of my favorite moments in uh, Big Bang. <laughs> Six month booster shots. I know. It's so funny though, um, no, oh no, a a AstraZeneca, is that the one, Linda? My dad had that and he was fine. He's going to have his second one in a few more weeks because you've got to wait six weeks for the AstraZeneca one. We just got an email from our school saying that all students age 16 plus can get the vaccination now. I'm like, oh, great. I don't know if uh, my 16 year old will be getting it. He's highly allergic to lots of things. Anaphylactic with a few things. Um, and we had trouble with his childhood vaccinations. He reacted to a few of them. So I'm not sure if he'll be able to get it anyway. Coming around the tiara. So yeah, the rest of the world thinks we're mad, I'm assuming, you know, still in lockdown. I was reading a little bit about Israel this morning and uh, I think I was reading that 78% of the population are being vaccinated, but that Ulster strain has hit and uh, it doesn't seem to be helping at all. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> How are they going to get people to vax if uh, they see stuff like that going on? Lovely. Moving on to this side now. Six months, Marie. What? Oh my gosh. Is it? Oh, I got mine. I'm happy I got mine. And I'm just going to bring this in a little bit further here. A can't believe people have to wait so long. Sad. Sad. Alrighty. Well, so far I'm okay with the pencils. Like for hair, they're they're pretty good. I'm I'm pretty happy with them. I remember I coloured a whole page like denim 
coloured with these. <laughs> I just did like crisscross patterns all over the page. It was cool. It's a bit of fun. Keep looking. Aha. It's good. My mum is very allergic to many things and requires EpiPen with her due to her anaphylactic reactions, but she was fine. Well, he's going, he'd have to have Pfizer because he's younger. He's only 16. Um, so... Aze's AstraZeneca. <laughs> I can't believe you're in lockdown. People here think the pandemic is over despite hospitals being at capacity and our numbers being so high. And the Delta strain's hitting hard too. Yeah, I know. We're still in lockdown. I know, our numbers are crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. This is uh, all new. I was saying that this is a not... These pencils I have not seen the light of day since like five years, six years ago, something like that. Actually, it could be longer than that now I'm saying that. I have to go back and look at some of my oldest videos and see when my first one was. <laughs> I've been colouring for a while before I started streaming and stuff so I don't remember. It feels like a century ago. It's probably a decade ago. It feels like a decade ago. <laughs> Melanie, I am using the Marco Raffian, or Raffine, I don't know how to say them, or Raffine. <laughs> um, I got them on eBay. I actually got a box of them as well somewhere, so an actual box, not a tin. Um because they were so cheap but I got the tin to keep them in um whoops I just went over her neck no they rub out easily at least <laughs> I think masks is the one thing that we can do to help like for people you know, it's just something so simple. I don't understand why people wouldn't want to do that. Not my business though, yeah? <laughs> and that's my own opinion, of course, you know, just doesn't matter whatever you guys think is fine too <laughs> it's so funny before this started actually it was the November before pandemic so what was that 2019 November my daughter had her 18th birthday and uh, one of the kids turned up at the door wearing a mask I thought it was a little odd and now it's like it did he know something <laughs> and he wore the mask all night 
But yeah. <laughs> Hi, Edie. Welcome. Oh, you're having the second one this afternoon, Linda. Uh, mine's been a week and the, the bump in that has gone down now. Actually, has it been a week or two weeks? A week. I work for a company that makes ventilators and breathing equipment. There are people on my team that think it's a joke, a hoax. I mean, seriously, the governments all over the world aren't in cahoots. Trust me. <laughs> How can it be a conspiracy and a joke? Like, honestly. <laughs> Anyhow. Better not have just got vaccinated for a hoax. I'd be very annoyed. <laughs> Mental health is through the roof. Mental health issues are through the roof, suicides through the roof, people aren't working, they got no money. It's just sad. Wasn't it predicted that the that 2020 was supposed to be the end of the world? I swear. Some calendar said. <laughs> Maybe it didn't literally mean the end of the world. Maybe it meant end of the world as we know it. <laughs> Just going through the key. Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the beautiful key? Where's the natural key? Haunted Mansion. Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Good movie. Kids movie. Good movie. Lovely. Drink tons of water. Hi Daniela, welcome. Hi anyone that's dropped in too, by the way. Welcome. Alex, hello. Welcome. I'm just uh, flicking up here to see what, what's what and who's saying what and catching up on chat. And... Sorry, they what? <laughs> Didn't they do a test with the mask thing? A, a doctor did a test. He put like 15 of the paper masks on and it didn't at all impede on his oxygen levels. <laughs> I think I get a little claustrophobic and hot and sweaty wearing a mask, but that's probably about it. I think it's psychological. <laughs> I'm not good in crowds with people either. I get a little bit like that too. Standing in a queue can get a little bit overwhelming sometimes, especially if it's a crowded place. Not that I've done that in a very long time, really. Alright, just a little bit of hair there.
just keep flicking. I think that's good. I think I've done a pretty good amount here. I'm just going to add a little bit here. I feel like there should be a bit more of a shadow there. Likey, likey. Looking good. <laughs> it's pretty, isn't it? It's like an auburn kind of red. I don't know. But it's going to be uh, a lot lighter. It's going to be like a brown. So. <laughs> I exhale cool air. I hate laundry, especially the folding part. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm pretty bad at that too, actually. I, I think dishes are my bane. I hate dishes. <laughs> There's always dishes. <laughs> Clothes you can just keep wearing, but dishes you can't just keep using. You've got to wash them. There you go, Catherine. Thank you. <laughs> I worked in operating theatres, spent years where it didn't ever stop for breathing oxygen. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, look, you know what? It probably doesn't do a lot, but it's it's something. It's something that we can all do without putting too, putting ourselves out too much, isn't it? <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm gonna go with five, five, seven. It's like a. Uh, actually, let's do five, five, six. It's like a, a I don't know, brown. It's a neutral brown. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Janine. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's sharpen this one. I'll try it with the other sharpener. It actually went quite well with that sharpener, so I'm, I, I, I might just use that one. Ironing? Who? I don't even iron. I, I own an iron for crafting only. I have an iron that I specifically have just for crafting. That's the only thing I do with an iron. <laughs> <laughs> I don't iron anything. I have a steamer, a closed steamer, so much quicker than ironing. <laughs> <coughs> Paper plates are right in the bin. Yeah, but the environment, come on. The cost, come on. <laughs> this is five, five, six. I'm just going to add to what I've already done. It's kind of a golden brown colour. It's nice actually. Uh, oh you know what? I can I can probably give you what brand would you prefer? Let's have a look. Well, the other one I compared to a, 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 a poly, so let's just see if there's a poly that compares to it. It's a little bit like... Bista, or bis, Bistri, Bistri, I don't know. How do you say it? <laughs> it's like a Bistro, but with an I, with, a, with an E, Bistri. <laughs> Hi, Helen.
Alan, darling, welcome. You wear, you don't wear socks, so no matching. <laughs> so you don't wear socks with your shoes when you work? That would be annoying. I mean, I wear socks and shoes the, the, the least I possibly can. <laughs> Problem is though, in summer I get flat feet bad. I get sore, achy heels from not wearing shoes. I think it's a thing here though in Australia. Who else? Who who is Australian here? I think it's a thing. Just we don't wear shoes a lot. Thongs. <laughs> what we call thongs so far good mix I think the light is weird on my camera too, but that's okay. We just deal with that, you know. <laughs> Never mind. Yours will probably look totally different to mine does right now. Just keep flicking. It should possibly get a little bit quicker each layer you do. Oh no, I went out the edges. Let's use the electric one. Can't find it. <laughs> I'm barefooted most of the time. Yeah, me too. Hi, Renee. Yeah, barefoot. Summer barefoot. The only time you wear shoes is when you're going to go on the sand. You're going to have thongs on. And even with thongs on, uh, you get burnt. <laughs> uh, yeah, walking on the road or concrete or something, you've got to wear shoes, you know. Or you hop, skip and jump into wherever you're going. <laughs> hop, skip and jump. <clears throat> Preferably you don't go anywhere in summer. It's just too bloody hot. <laughs> Most people will head to the beach in the evening. It's that warm. The sun's so hot. Just go to the beach at like, you know, six in the evening, go for a swim. Keep your fish and chips on the way home. <laughs> when the kids were young, we used to do that a fair bit. Head to the beach and... The beach is only like a 20 minute drive from here, so it's nice. Less with no traffic. Oh, beep. Hello. I wonder if that'll be a Colouring Heaven magazine that I've been waiting for. Show their flip thongs. Yeah, flip flops. <laughs> a thong is one of those things that's, you know, shaped like a foot 
you know, like this, and it's got the three, the two straps there. <laughs> you can wear it. It didn't really come up, did it? It's like this. I can't draw, but you know. Oh, so. <laughs> you put your toes in there, and off you go. <laughs> It is Friday, you're right, it's Friday. Friday, Friday, gonna get down on Friday. Sorry, they'll be in your head now tomorrow when you wake up, it's Friday. I just erase that off there. We don't need a thong on there. We also can call a thong um, his underwear as well, but usually that's a G-string. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for the, the unicorn one still. Thong. I'm behind. Everyone's chatting about something else now and I'm like laughing at thong still. <laughs> oh goods. You know what, I think that's supposed to be background there, but I might actually make that some hair. Linda, it's squish your butt in a thong. Why not? <laughs> Try shoving a thong on your, uh, an actual underwear thong on your feet. Like seriously, that would be funny too. Ah, oh dear me, you guys are funny. Pamela, no! I'll message, um... Oh no, I broke it. Dang it. Come on. Don't be a poopy. Uh, got lead stuck in my sharpener and I can't get it out. Alright, so this, as I said, they're old and uh, they've probably been dropped a few times. So, uh, nope, there's a bit of stuff in there. I need to get it out. No, I'll have to use a different sharpener for now. I'm not going to sit and fiddle with that now. <laughs> Actually, I can take the back off, can't I? Let's do that. Stuck right in there. Got it. <laughs> Got it. that again I am Helen I am <laughs> I'm using my Kyra theme 
raffian refines whatever Ugh, that one sharpened it's not broken and uh, they're they're kind of smudgy I've just noticed actually they're uh, they're surrounding I got some smudge marks here that's kind of sucky kind of sucky because I started with the hair I probably could have started with the middle of the face if I was you know flicking me it was mine too Helen actually I was saying that technically the uh, Derwent artist studio artist pencils or whatever they are were my first but I didn't actually use them I hated them uh, so this was my first set that I actually used <laughs> um, before I got my polys which I pretty much uh, have used ever since getting them so I did also get at around the same time as these the uh, Faber-Castell classic pencils as well and uh, they were pretty good too 48 set or something I think I had um, so yeah lovely okay I might need a piece of paper I have one here it's a scrappy piece of paper that I had in there for my marker my marker scribbles just gonna lean on it gosh it's so warm got a couple of windows open and uh, I can hear the wind howling through <laughs> sounds like a haunted house <laughs> ah cool Mona You had trouble sharpening them. Oh, well, I just had trouble sharpening them. I know, Linda, but I thought they were like, because Cameron has a set and I love them, which I want to do a, a video on these. These are the, the vintage ones, though. Look. See, I didn't realise they changed them when I brought my set. I thought they would be the same as these, but they're not. So these are the original ones. So I'm going to have a go at them. And these are so old. These were Camerons. <laughs> Aren't they awesome? My Nana had a set too, so I've got a few extra extras uh, rolled up in a thing as well. But these were the best. Well, you don't with my set. Yeah, I was just saying that when I brought mine, I thought they were, the they were going to be the same, but they weren't. Well, no, mine is vintage. Yours are vintage, right? Just like me. Yeah. Just like you. Yep. <laughs> Good morning, evening, afternoon, good night, everybody. Okay, Pam has an update from Sydney. Yes. 1,431 1, new cases. Wow. 12 dead. That's sad. Very sad. It is, Janine. They're pretty cool, aren't they? <laughs> No, they're, they're not only thicker, they're, um, the pigment's better as well. Yeah, it is. It's, that's, and so what? So your lockdown's staying in then, Pam? I'm going to assume? Yes. She's like, come on, talk to me. Right, right. I got really hot. It's warm in here. It is. Not the storm coming through, though. I know, um. Geelong, it's raining apparently. Let's head it over here then. Hope it holds out for at least another hour, I think. 
You might get caught in it. Mm. <laughs> oh, zoom back in, sorry. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, hello. I'm a bit closer than I was before. Oh, it stopped now? That's because it's heading over this way. Yeah, we're still in lockdown, Helen, and well, Victoria is until the 23rd of September. At the earliest. Do you know what? I had a freak out this morning. I thought that it was October already. <laughs> Don't do that. I know. I was like, wait, am I supposed to be doing Halloween stuff? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> Not so much. Just laying there, are you? Just laying there. <laughs> He's got an appointment. Just laying there. Oh, you're a lazy girl, aren't you? She is. She's like, hello, dada, you're here. <laughs> So he's definitely going to move. I am going to go back to finding an image for you. What? what? Are you drawing again? I'm finishing off something that I started years ago for you. Ah, nice. Well, you have requested it, so. Back soon. Okay. <sighs> Hi, Patty. You dreamed you chopped it all off. What? <laughs> what did you chop off? <laughs> no, it's just around the corner, Linda. We're getting a, a referral for Ethan for something, so... He's just dropping around the corner. <laughs> All right, moving around, moving around. Father's Day this weekend too. I already we already gave my dad his Father's Day present. My sister went down and picked it up, and they video chatted while he opened it, and we brought him a bird, um, a, a, a ceramic bird bath. So I he opened the car, the boot of the car. That was his opening of his present. <laughs> he had a bird bath that he quite liked, but um. It got all rusted, so he, he had to throw it away. It was like a, I don't know. I mean, it's a bird bath. It's supposed to have water in it, and it sits out in the rain. You'd think that they would do a better job of designing that, hey? Apparently not. Anyhow, <laughs> we got him a ceramic one. That should last forever. <laughs> it should. <laughs> Who knows if it will? Um, he doesn't actually. <laughs> he always is on this side. He always ends up over in, you know, on the water side. <clears throat> Alright, we need something a little bit different coloured now. Um, wait, let me put this away. Uh, something lighter. I don't know. I could go like a yellow, more yellow toned, or I could go keep it in that red kind of toned. I was thinking of keeping it in the red kind of toned. So we'll go 557. 
It's more like a burnt sienna type colour in the polys. <clears throat> I hope that helps, Angela. I mean, Angela. <laughs> Pamela. Uh, Janine, whoever. <laughs> you reckon yellow? I picked red. <laughs> I'm so over a haircut. I was due last week, so my hair's like fluffy mess right now it sucks having short hair <laughs> well let's do a little bit of a test then shall we if you say yellow and I say I say that let's see where's the let's do a test we'll do a little bit of each and see what happens I did the same thing. I, I chopped it short first to my shoulders and I didn't like that. It was too buffy and it drove me mental. Uh, and then I just said, nope, shave it off. So I did. Janine, it was Janine. I knew it. <laughs> Let's try both. We'll do, uh, do 553, which is more the yellow one first. I'll see what I think of that. I'll do it in, I don't know, this little section here. Okay, and then I'll do the ready colored one I think I I think I like both <laughs> all right well let's do the lighter one let's do the yellow one uh, five five three Just keep flicking it. That's pretty. Boofed. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens when you can't get a haircut and you've got short hair. You end up like Ronald McDonald. We talked about this last week, didn't we? <laughs> Fluffy hair. I've said to Cam, I think I might go sit out on a chair out there and get him to shave the back of my head. <laughs> I'm that desperate. By the time I get to the actual uh, hairdressers now, that'll be grown out anyway. I think I might on the weekend. I think I might go and sit out there and have the dog clippers on the back of my hair <laughs> just shave it all off <laughs> go for it <laughs> where are you going to your corner what did you do Renee <laughs> I know it is sad isn't it Pam it's like they had all the all the parks were closed and I don't know kids need social interaction I said this last week we are a social breed and we need to be sociable and uh, that's why it's just hard it's very hard Okay, I'm going on over the top here again. I don't know, we've had like 200 and something suicides in the last six months. It's crazy. It's very real. The problem is very real. All right, let's add a little bit of white. I'm thinking, uh, look, let's try the, the, the brand, this one, see how that looks. But I'm thinking I might end up going with Prismacolor white. Although this seems to be fairly soft. Just gonna, 
Eh, it's not really doing what I want, but I guess it will do. <laughs> she says. Yeah, I need to add some more colour in there. That's we can see the grey underneath it. So I think I'm gonna need to come back in with that dark colour again. I don't remember what colour it was. Fifty eight. <laughs> nee. Try Prisma White. probably should have been writing down what colours I was using too. That was a bit silly of me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Alright, let's do the first colour again. 558. Five, Just really darken those grey areas up. Oh, no, no, no. oh, so Smallville's coming along. I'm up to season five. I'm a bit upset that Tom Welling doesn't actually wear the suit, you know. <laughs> he should have worn the suit. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> That's a bit better. I'm just going back over that grey a little bit. <laughs> it's easier to manage with ponytail. I don't reckon it is. I don't reckon your hair. I don't know. I mean, I've had long hair all my life literally butt length hair and um i hated wearing it up it pulled on my face and it gave me headaches and i had to wash it all the time because it was so long and stuck to my head <laughs> um so yeah i'm to be honest like apart from not being able to get my hair cut i still prefer as i said all those years of long hair i still prefer the short hair i love it and I kind of wish I had done it earlier. <laughs> yes, wish I had done it earlier. Okay, no spoilers. All right, no spoilers. I won't. I was just saying that I think he should have worn the suit. That's not a spoiler. He doesn't wear the suit at all. Because it's about his life before the suit. So, you know. <laughs> Dang.
And I'm kind of disappointed. A few of the episodes, they've re... Like, they've... We've... <laughs> the situation they've already been in before has happened a couple of times. And I'm like, hmm, come on. Storyline, please. I guess I was kind of hoping for more superhero-y stuff, but it's not really like that, is it? All right. I think that's looking good. I think this area here needs a bit of something. Something, something. Yeah. This is the, um, excuse me, the, 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 uh, the normal brown one. <laughs> I think we've I think we're good now I think I've got those those really gray areas now I probably could have done a bit more of a highlight on the hair here but I don't know it's all right it looks pretty good All right, now, do I go over it with the full blender just to add a coating of, of the stuff on it so it doesn't smudge as much? I think, look, it helps with the Prisma, so let's see. Let's give it a go. This is a Caran Dash full blender. I'm just hoping it helps with the smudging. A little bit. Just a little bit. I might make it worse, who knows. She's got such lovely hair, hasn't she? Love it. Well, it definitely filled the colour in a little bit, didn't it? They didn't discontinue this blender. This blender's still around. What do you mean? I don't understand. And they now have it in a pencil as well. This is the best blender ever. I've tried a lot too. Oh, it looks awesome! Mm, I don't know about this bit here, what's happening here? That looked a little odd then, didn't it? That's better. Let's zoom out a bit so we can see it further away. I love her. She's got like an orangey red hair now. <laughs> oh yeah, Helen, really? Bye Angie, I hope you feel better. I'm sorry you're not well. Oh. Arrow's alright. I watched most of it. It's been... Yeah, it, it comes in a... Well, it's, uh, we can get it here, but it comes in a pencil as well now. It's the same blender, the exact same blender. Um, but in a pencil. I don't think it's discontinued. I hope it's not. It's the best. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, look, to be honest, I really like this one because you can do big areas quickly. But the pencil is exactly the same. It's just a smaller lead. And they don't break as easily, of course, because these can break super quickly and easily. <laughs> Let's do a giveaway. Uh, so, um, wait, who was just talking to me about the giveaway prize? I've got a message now, that's right. Um, wait, let me just check. I just want to make sure. Okay, so Pamela, you need to have yours emailed. I'll message now. And, okay, cool. So let's do it. So the giveaway prize will be your choice of image from the lovely Modern Colouring Etsy shop. Digital image. Uh, and <laughs> you will need to email me your choice of image so I can then give your details to Jen so she can then send it on to you. Nope. Yeah. What's she doing? No, I was just closing the video. Yeah, broken. I didn't open... Oh, it's now raining. Yeah. Uh, I didn't open the Nightbot thing. Hang on. Let me do it. Giveaways. Alright. Wait, no. I know there's no eligible users yet because I haven't put a word in there. Alright, here we go. So. Uh, let's do Raven. That's her raven. Because that's her name. R-A-V-E-N. If you would like to enter, make sure you've written that word. He's coming back, Abby. He's, <laughs> he's coming back. Oh, well, that's all right, Alex. One of each. Of course, it's more expensive as a pencil because you've got to have wood with it as well. <laughs> so uh, Nightbot will pick a winner a random winner from whoever enters the word Raven well she has to have green eyes now because she's got green or blue eyes I'm thinking green um, and I'm not sure about blending yet, so I guess we should, should we do skin or should I have a practice first before I do skin? Should I literally wing it or should I have a little bit of a practice with skin later? That's the decision. I would prefer you guys to be able to actually do uh, what I'm doing, but you know, we could wing it a little bit, I guess. I just don't know what it's going to be like to blend it. So I do have a scrappy piece here. Let's have a look. I called them crows. <laughs> we do have ravens, but mainly here in Australia we have crows. Big, scary, ugly looking things with big eyes. <laughs> they love our rubbish bins. I'm just going to try a few colours here and see. How they look together. I got some really pale colours but not a lot of the other middle kind of like you know cinnamon sort of colors so that's going to be really hard okay so we're gonna to have to do i don't know i'm already lost
We might have to add color in here. All right, what have we got over here? Yeah, there's no color in between. This is going to be hard because there's no color from the there's no middle color like something like cinnamon or um, in the in the prisma colors you're looking at um, an in between color I don't even know remember what I use for skin in in here. <laughs> She's going, what do you usually use? I'm like, hmm. <laughs> wing it, wing it, wing it. You never do too bad. Oh my God. You like her albino? Okay, I'll just leave her this color. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, let's draw it. Let me go to my share. Oh, it's pouring with rain now. <laughs> Congratulations. He plays Oliver Queen. Um Alex, you will need to email me at my email address here. And let me know which image you would like, and uh, I will uh, send those details off to the lovely Jennifer. Mm. All right. Can we blend with some white? Will that work? I think that will work. <laughs> she says, I think it will work. <clears throat> Congratulations. You just won. What do you mean you never win anything? You just did. <laughs> Alright, so I have a couple of colours here. I'm going to use... <clears throat> 5.59, which is like the... It's like the Kaput Mortem, but it's like the violet one. And then the Kaput Mortem as well, the, the 5.58. And then I've got five five seven, and then five five seven is uh, like the just like a a kind of an orangey brown. It's like a burnt sienna kind of color. And then I'm gonna use because there's not really much else. This is like a really really uh, like coral kind of color five seventeen, and then five eighteen, which is like a skin tone sort of peach color. And then I'm going to use the white, white uh, Prismacolor to blend it because it doesn't blend very well without that. <clears throat> uh, you've got to go to the Etsy shop. I'll send you this this image. This link here takes you to Etsy. Uh, so just check out her shop, uh, which is uh, Modern Coloring. Modern Coloring. Okay, so follow the way to get your the image thing. It has got some pretty colours, hasn't it? I mean, look at this one here. This is 
it's got lots of nice purple. That's probably why I picked them originally, because, you know, being my favourite colour and all. I just sharpened that one and this one. Oopsies. Okay, so we'll go the darkest one first. Five, this is the 5.9, this is the darker one. I'm just going to be really, really light. I don't want to have trouble blending it, you see. Uh, and this is definitely winging it, guys. I've never used these with skin colours. I only ever did Joanna Basswood, which were all, you know, flowers and birds and <laughs> butterflies, you know. I do still have the, the, um, the Stedler ones, but that's more orange. It's not really apricot. Got a tattoo. How did I not notice that before? <laughs> so the shadow from her necklace there. I might have to bring some of that hair just down into there a little bit just to, I don't know, it just sort of looked a little odd there. Just going to fix that there. And I might just bring some of this just around like that as well. It's funny, we're using the same colours that we used in the hair and the skin. <laughs> I'll zoom in a little bit too. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, there you go, Pam. Hopefully you do. Hi, Rachel. Welcome. All right. Still using the 59. Just winging it. Concentrating, sorry. Brrr. I'm being so light-handed here, it's not funny. <clears throat> <laughs> I 
<clears throat> Thanks, Abby. Now you're a patron as well. Yes, she's got Patreon. I actually had that posted up there before. Um, I can post that up too if anyone's interested. It's Patreon only images there. Um, Alright, I think I need to add a tiny little bit of that in there. Like, I'm literally just touching the paper. <laughs> I'm not even... As they say, feather light, feather light. Let's move to 558. Yes, Jennifer Zimmerman from Modern Coloring. That's right. That's correct, Alex. Is that what I sent you? Is that what the link is? <laughs> Did I send the right link? Did I actually post that link right? No, Alex, just do that. No, don't be silly. I remember I was watching a DD video, live video, and I got shamed for entering the giveaway that she did. I was like, seriously? Shame on you, really? Some people are just rude. Don't be, don't feel like that. Just, you won. You win. You won, you won. <laughs> Take it away. Just do it. People are just rude. It was one particular person. It wasn't a group of people or anything. It was just one person who... who shame on you. <laughs> really? Okay. I mean, I still have to pay for stuff too. It's not, you know, it's not all free. Oh, dear. So you won, exactly, enjoy. I was kind of just saying an equivalent to them before. I, I was I was giving you polychromos names of them. <laughs> but I said I'm gonna try and put it up, yeah, Patreon. So you should be able to if 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 I get time, you know, with things that have been happening, but give it a go. doing the
the darker areas. You should never feel bad about winning something, it's good luck. <laughs> it was meant to be. little bit of shape coming on here. Oh, you never printed your own? Oh. And I'll never look back. I, I only ever print mine now. I hardly ever do them in the books. Too hard basket there. Paper, too much, too much variables, too many variables going on there. <laughs> Different types of papers different colored papers. I like printing my own. did I pick next? <laughs> Wait, there's more. What's this one? Five, 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 seven. This is the burnt sienna kind of one. I just got Nina cardstock seems to be recommended the 80 pound one. Yeah, I use Nina. This is Nina actually, this one. I don't know how these would be on Nina because Nina's really smooth. Yeah, that might be scary on Nina. <laughs> might not get enough pencil colour in there. I think these would be great on the mixed media paper actually. on the uh, Tantone paper.
she kind of looks strange right now, doesn't she? Canson Bristol Smooth for my markers. Oh, nice. Got my first book the other day when I just don't like paper. Exactly. I'm, I scan all of my images just to do on my own paper. I would prefer to buy PDFs. And I know that a lot of artists just don't do PDF because of the whole theft thing. So. But yes, I would never ever share them. Hello. Hello. Um, okay, I'm winging it with the skin right now because I've never done skin with these pencils before. <laughs> it's a little bit of fun. And scratch underneath. Uh, these pencils aren't that great at blending, so I'm going to uh -huh. go over them with the... The smoother I can get them now, the better. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> Do you want to see what he just drew? Wait, let me just zoom out a bit. Yeah, exactly, Marilyn. So this is one that he did, and I really like it. So he just did it in a line image for me. So it's cool. She's like a fire, like a phoenix or something, isn't she? Mm-hmm. She's cool. <laughs> Hi, Della. Oh, Linda Ravencroft I do directly in there as well, so... <laughs> so we'll, we'll probably do them for patrons um, because uh, we can't figure out the best way to sell them. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what she's written there, but she's written me a whole thing. So oh, I'll have a read. Maybe just let her know that I'm live. Thank you. Huh? Um, I've got 517. This is like the coral kind of colour. Yeah, I like it too. Like he's had it sitting in his book for a while and I just went, I really want that one, do that one. So he's done it. <laughs> he's done it now. Oh, I've got no work till next week, so I might as well make the most of it, eh? Yep. Ever so lightly here. Yeah. She's saying that she's looking at doing a uh, diploma in graphic design to become an illustrator. Uh huh. What happened to. Uh, so confused. <laughs> See, look here around the nose there. That's going to come out scratchy. I'm not going to be able to blend that very well. Yeah. They're just not. That's all right. We'll figure it out. We'll make it work. Yeah. Well, actually, you probably won't. I'll use pastels to band-aid it. Don't worry. You've only got five minutes. What? <sighs> Shh. No, I'm going to finish the skin. Oh, okay. Shh. I can't just leave it midway. That won't work. Uh, Jennifer's asking who won. Uh, Alex won. Alex, Alex, Alex.
we we're just showing Cam's drawing that I'm going to do as a page, uh, Jennifer. Rewind it and have a look. It's pretty cool. I like it. She's cool. I don't know what you're going to give her a name. You can. I can name it. I just draw them. Okay. Oh, well, I'll just put my name on it then, and you know. You can claim it. <laughs> what yours is yours, and what's mine is yours. So. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Yeah, vellum. I find vellum better than than smooth. Smooth is uh, is pretty. It's hard to use. Smooth paper. It's all right with like uh, markers and things like that, but uh, it's hard to use with pencil sometimes. Maybe if you're a seasoned colorist, you might find it a little bit easier to use. But um, I need a pink for her cheeks. So where's my color list here? I'm going to go with uh, 514, maybe? My Nina is more like this one. Yeah. Nina is, it's soft. The paper's soft though. Um, I find like, like Strathmore Bristol smooth paper is like hard. Nina's good for everything except for water-based uh, products. I've just got a little bit of that 415. I sharpened it. I'm just going to add a little bit of pink in here. Maybe just above the eyes a little bit there too. Yeah, I don't think anyone can bribe Nightbot. I actually brought uh, Cam a, note, a sketchbook this week, didn't I? You did. And some more blenders and uh, yeah. Got a got a, a reward the artist. Come on. Well, I did steal some pencils from him. You did. <laughs> um, so I've got the five eighteen, which is like a peach, a light peach color, uh, or light flesh kind of color. I'm not tech, no, it's tech savvy. How do you trick Nightbot? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm going to cover over everything here, just really lightly still. And I'm hoping that when I come in with the... I'm hoping, she says, when I come in with the white that this all kind of blends out nicely and then we can sort of go back in and add a little bit more to the shadows and things like that. You get your fingers crossed? Fingers crossed, yeah. Oh, pretty hard to colour with your fingers crossed, but okay. Oh, there's a challenge. How do you cross your fingers again? <laughs> yes, like that. My <laughs> <laughs> uh, fingers don't cross very well. They're too fat. Fat fingers don't cross. Rubbish. They're fluffy fingers. Well, that wasn't much rain at all. No, it rained and left. It's still warm. Yep. Very, very muggy, very humid. I got red cheeks, I can feel them. My cat sounds fake. <laughs> what? Catch you later, Pam. Where did that come from? Pam, stay safe, please. <laughs> I do love my printer. It's an Epson, and the ink is uh, awesome. It's waterproof ink, um, which is great. It's really good with markers and pencils and everything. I love it. I did buy myself a laser printer quite some time ago. Actually, it was probably about five years ago. Maybe about that. 
Um, laser print is really good with uh, with markers, but it's not very good with pencil. It peels off. So uh, not a good idea with pencil. Uh, it, it goes well on smoother paper, but not on colouring paper or drawing paper. So uh, inkjet is definitely better. Also, too, with inkjet, if you if you're worried about smudging and things, you could try heat setting it with like a heat gun or a hair dryer. Bye, Gail. Bye, Gail. Everyone's leaving. Am I that late? Well, it's over twelve. Everyone's got visitors turning up. <laughs> All right, and, let's and do they some. They know light. not to turn up while you're still live. Like a parrot. She's a parrot, are you Shadow? Where is she hiding? I don't know, she disappeared. Has two. Let's try my white bed. pencil here. She's gone to her own bed. She's gone to bed? Oh my yep. goodness. She never goes to bed. No. It's warm, that's why. Yep. She likes that warmth. You know what I'm wondering? If we should have done a layer of white first. You know, I've done that before and that's worked really well. Anyway, I'm just blending it out. Smoosh, smoosh. You're not going to say it? Smoosh. <laughs> smoosh, smoosh. Or flicking. We already did flicking. We did the oh, hair I first. Did the flicking. Okay. Just wing it. Oh, that's just my life. Sure, I'll try that. Why not? That's just winging it. <laughs> not too bad. It's not looking too bad once it's blended, is it? Very pale, but yeah. Oh, I'll get. We've got to do another layer. Considering I have never used these for skin, I think I think we're getting somewhere. We're moving along. You know, the Prismacolor white pencil would be nice in a big, thick pencil. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Do larger areas quicker? It's almost taking me back to white paper. It is not. Look, there's colour in there. Don't you go playing around. No, Why no, not? no, no. <clears throat> You're going to go with mandalas, are you, Alex? Well, let me know and I'll let Jen know what you pick. I've just actually I, I might just write uh, that down here because I'm gonna forget to message Nell about the other giveaway all right and Alex cool just written it down so I don't forget that's why I ask everyone to email me. It's just easier to remember. <laughs> We're definitely going to need to add more depth in there. Like that's lightened off completely. I'd definitely invest in a white pencil, a good white pencil, Prismacolor or Luminance or something. Mm. I think Prismacolor is the best bet. It's the the cheapest and uh, 
it's not quite as opaque as the Luminance pencil. The Luminance white has got a bit of a blue tint to it as well. I don't think I could get that any smoother using anything else. I think that looks cool. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've got the <coughs> bug. T. Don't forget, just wing it. Look. From the lovely Linda. <laughs> I need to sharpen it again already. It's the only thing with it. You guys do it that quick? Yeah. Wow. The Prismacolor white is so soft. It's like, um, I don't even know how to explain it. You'd have to try it. I have to give you one to have a look at. <laughs> you gonna give me more stuff? Give you stuff? I don't know. Yeah, stuff. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to do the extra shadowing or anything today. I'll finish off blending this in now, and then next week we'll do. Uh, we'll finish. Do some more shadows, and we'll do some more at the background and stuff. So, and the and the crows. So make sure you come back next week for that. We'll do that on Friday again. And maybe, I haven't spoke to Jennifer, but I could put her on the spot here. <laughs> you wouldn't do something like and that. And maybe we might do another giveaway. We'll see. <laughs> she ran away on you. Just going around the tattoo for now. Bye, Helen. See ya, Helen. And uh, I'll try during the week to do a conversion to. Bye, Janine. I'll get the lovely Alicia out of bed and get her to help me. <laughs> oh, that's coming out alright. I don't mind it. Not mad at it. It looks good. Definitely green eyes. Yeah, can't. Yeah, agree. No colour in the eyes make it does does look a bit uh... strange. Zombie like. It's getting there. It's a work in progress. Usually we only get the skin done and that's about it. So we did well to get hair and skin almost finished. Looking good. Well, so far, I'm pretty happy with those pencils. They have not been bad, mm. have they? I think I did pretty well there. Yep. I love the picture. 
Yes, Jen's pretty clever. <laughs> it's so pale looking. It actually doesn't look, it looks less pale in the normal light than under the camera. It's so hard with the camera. Isn't it? It's either pink or it's orange. Well, it's all the, all the lights you've got in here. It's so very hard to see the actual colour of things, isn't it? Need some of those uh, colour things under the camera sometimes. <laughs> Full of colour samples, yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for uh, the giveaway prize today. This image is really pretty. So we'll do it. We'll we'll do another week of this one next week, and um, and uh, I'll be back on Monday for what letter am I up to? What did I just do? F, A B C D E F G. I did G. No. I think. What did I do? I don't remember. What I've done F. I I'm losing track. G. I think I'm up to H. <laughs> H, yes, H. So, uh, oh, I don't know what I'm doing for H yet. A Hannah, probably, of some sort. A Hannah Calzone or Hannah Lynn, something like that. <laughs> H is next, yep. <laughs> uh, so we'll do that on Monday. But um, I'll see you next week. So you um, thanks so much for watching everybody. Thank you so much to channel supporters and subscribers and a big thank you to my lovely patrons as well. And I will see you later. Bye everyone. Bye everybody. Oh, that can just be deleted from there. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh dear me. Alrighty. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.